cheap, clean, carbon-free energy for all. That's the promise of nuclear fusion, often called the holy grail of energy generation. Now a crack team of Kiwi scientists is attempting to turn that dream into reality and News Hub was invited into the lab for the first up-close look at their reactor taking shape. Here's Finn Hogan. In this unassuming building in the capital, a miniature sun is under construction. Here in Open Star Technologies in Wellington, where one of the most ambitious science projects ever attempted in our country is underway. The effort to harness nuclear fusion, the same thing that powers our sun, but harnessed here on Earth. This prototype reactor is Open Star's first step towards fusion, which is the opposite process to traditional nuclear fission, fusing atoms together instead of splitting them apart. It does not produce the same hazardous waste, primarily uses a fuel derived from seawater, cannot cause a meltdown, and does not facilitate the creation of nuclear weapons. A lot of upsides, but there's a catch. One of the reasons why it's safe is related to one of the reasons why it's so hard to do. So we have to get this plasma insanely hot to do anything. So it's a very small amount of something, very, very high in temperature. And what that means is if anything goes wrong, Basically, it just cools down immediately. Scientists like Darren have been attempting to create commercial nuclear fusion for decades, saying the promise of a cheap, clean and abundant energy could be a game-changer for the climate. And so much more. I grew up in the 70s in the, in the US, and, and we, had, uh, we had gas shortages at the time. And it was very clear that those shortages lead to global instability. And just being able to really have energy independence, being able to produce energy anywhere, not just because it comes out of the ground somewhere, I think it's fundamentally will restructure worldwide uh, society. While being nuclear free is deeply baked into our culture, Ratu says fusion isn't against our identity, it's in our blood. I think people can tell the difference between what our country rejected and what we're building here, and I'm really confident that it's going to work out. He tangata, he tangata, he tangata, right? Like, everything is always about people. I love, like, solving really cool problems, right? But actually what I love more is being a part of a team of people who are interested in doing that and doing it for the right reason. For me, that's maritanga, right? It's like, what, how do you choose what to do every day? And it's make sure that the people around you are better off for what you did. If OpenStar is successful, Ratu says New Zealanders will be leading a nuclear power revolution. That an iconic Kiwi began. We were a world leader in this. Sir Ernest Rutherford is on our $100 bill yeah. because he was the father of experimental nuclear physics. Right? He was the first person to split the atom. He also ran the lab where the first fusion uh, was done. The types of things that we fused, deuterium, tritium, they were named by him. Right? Like Kiwis were here at the start and will be here at the end. OpenStar aims to have commercial fusion power on our grid by the 2030s, like Maui did in myth, capturing the power of our sun for the good of all. Finn Hogan, News Hub.